this shit for real. Hey guys, this is the new Performance Works YouTube channel. My name is Noah Hensley. I'm the owner and operator, uh, fabricator, you know, live here, whatever you want to say. Uh, Heather's behind the camera. We're just going to touch base on a few builds that we got going on. Uh, so just follow me. This is O, our shop dog. She's uh, kind of going to always be around. You're going to see her a bunch. All right, so this is our 69 Mach 1. Came to us as a semi-painted roller. Um, we are doing, it's got a 7302 setup in it. Uh, so we carbureted, it is four speed. Um, we've kind of come across some issues we've had going on with it. Guys who done the metal work didn't do some proper work to it. So we've had to reposition some things, having to go back and seam seal everything underneath. Uh, we're gonna do a uh, paint match underlining underneath it. And then uh, we're just gonna get this thing going. The main goals for the car is uh, just daily driver when it's nice out. And he's actually gonna do some drag and drives with it. Uh, be a pretty cool car for sure when it comes out. Uh, yeah, so we'll move on to the next one. So this is, uh, we have a very large love and hate relationship with this car. And it came to me as a primered roller, so to speak. Um, it is a 69 Chevelle, um, all UMI front to back suspension. It's got a built 12 bolt in it. Um, upon some mock-up, we have found that the people who've done the sheet metal work just uh, didn't do a proper or even honestly even did a mock-up to it. So currently we're having to uh, cut, we cut the quarter out of it, put a new quarter in it because the jams wasn't even close. You close the door and it was half inch off from a quarter or so. It's a time consuming build. We've had it for a while. We've had to jump on and off it quite a bit, try to maintain and keep everybody else happy. But its main build is going to be a built 5.3, built ADE so he can drive it. Uh, we're going to do twin 67s on it, uh, more of a show car twin turbo setup on it. Uh, customers going to drive the wheels off this thing. Um, but it's all powder coated uh, frame, suspension, going to be all new interior. We're doing everything in house on this one. Everything from brakes to paint to interior, all the body work, all the, the motor, training, everything on this one. So it's a pretty cool car. Um, yeah, it's a, it's been a journey though. So we're gonna move on to the next one here. So what we have here is a 71 C10. It came to us as more of a, a really classic style build. Um, customer brought it to me and it had beautiful paint. Um, customer came to me and says he wanted everything modernized. So um, getting into the project, we decided uh, to run a QA1 front to back suspension setup. They just came out with it, I think this year, honestly, uh, maybe in the fall. It's double adjustable coilovers front and back, all tubular, everything, um, all new uh, trans cross members, uh, motor cross members, suspension cross members, everything's brand new. Um, we decided to do a full LS3. We bought a wrecked LS3 and got the motor and trans out of it. It's got like 70,000 miles on it. We did a, um, a Texas Speed cam kit set up in it, um, valve springs, push rods, all that stuff to match, make sure we have some reliability. Um, we can go in, check in with the engine bay a touch. It is um, built custom cold air intake by us. They actually didn't make motor mounts for it yet, so we made our own motor mounts. Um, super clean build, vintage air. It's got the Teletronics dash set up on it. Um, we kept with the uh, 4065 trans, uh, I did it steering column. It's got a rack and pinion set up now. Um, you know, aluminum radiator, it's everything, top to bottom. Upon putting it back together, we noticed we had some clear coat issues um, starting to de lamp separate, so to speak, and come to find out the clear coat would literally come off with a spray gun. So we ended up doing the paint on this as well. Um, turned out super slick. Um, it came back. We just wrapped it up about two weeks ago. I wanted the customer to drive it for a little bit, let that paint kind of settle up a little bit more so we can come back and do some touch up. Upon doing some driving, the customer decided he wanted a little bit of a stall. And then I had super um, big gear in it. It was a 308, I believe. So we're going to do a, a 373 setup in it with a pause unit as well. So that's what it's here back for. And we're going to do some touch ups, some, uh, you know, spot buffing with it get that setup done to it and then get it, you know, get it tuned this week. Um, so that way the customer can get back and enjoy the car. All right guys, so this is a 66 F100 build. It was actually a build that I've had going on for a long time. Never really got much to it. Um, guy a little bit out of town, John Corey did the Crown Big front end actually for me. Ironically enough, I said I didn't have time for it, um, but as he was doing this one, I was doing one in a Dodge frame. So, but regardless, it is a 66 F100. Um, it's going to be all a patina build. 
um, all patina on the outside, nice wood bed floor on the inside, nice beautiful interior on the inside, uh, super clean engine bay. It is going to be a 6.0 ADE based with a smaller turbo, probably going to run like a 73 on it. He's going to haul his other show car with it, but he wanted the best of both worlds. He's got a nice original style car that he's going to haul with it, clean paint, but now he's got a patina LS swap ride to pull it. So he's got a best of both worlds. Um, original style frame, uh, it's got some added cross members into it, just stiffen it up a little bit. It's all been painted, all the suspension's all going to be clean underneath it. Um, does have a Mustang rear end as well, an 8.8. Um, but these are some of the builds that you guys are going to see coming and going and growing, as, as added with the turn and burn jobs that we do. Um, so yeah, it's, it's going to be cool to see you guys come with us and enjoy the ride. Alright guys, so I just really wanted to touch base about what this channel is going to be about. Um, you know, we've had people throughout the years um, ask, you know, why don't we do a YouTube channel? Why don't we do a YouTube channel? Well, I don't really have the time to, you know, it's hard to find uh, guys that are willing to come in and put in the work that we do. And um, it's hard to just make time when we're only a limited crew. So we're in a position, fortunately enough, to be able to try to swing some of this and uh, see how it grows, see how you guys like it. And again, this is all for you. So what this channel is going to be about is going to be like how-to videos, you know, the day in the life of, uh, we're gonna throw a little bit of business stuff in there because everyone kind of keeps the, that to the side. I, I want to be pretty transparent when it comes to business type stuff. What works for us? Not that it's gonna work for anyone else, but what works for us? Um, and then we're gonna do some racing videos as long because we, we have a shop truck that we'll introduce to the channel here soon. Um, we've got several cars that we take care of and sponsor, and um, but we're all about you know giving back to the community, helping people, um, and just having fun along the way. But I appreciate everybody more than welcome for comments at the bottom give us ideas what you want to see um what projects you like the most and stuff like that just keep uh, keep with us and i'll interact with interact back with everybody and uh, we'll just grow this together